And so this is a quick demonstration of how to use our widescreen series sound packs. For this tutorial, I'm going to just use this stock footage. Let's start by creating additional audio tracks. We, let's quickly go sequence, add tracks, few audio tracks. So now I'm just going to drag and drop um, the stock footage I've got. For this instructional video, I'm using Adobe Premiere, but you can use DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro or any other video editing app. Now, the purpose of this tutorial is just to show you how to um, use our sounds to your films. So please do, do not pay attention too much to the storyline of this footage. Again, it's just for the demonstration purposes. Now this tutorial will work for widescreen cinematic, epic and horror packs. And if we have any more widescreen series packs in the future, this tutorial will work. In each of those packs, what you will find inside is a low, mid and top folder and a bonus folder as well. The way you work with those sound packs is you will pick one audio file from the low folder and you can mix it with one of the files from the mid folder and you can also layer on top one of those files from the top folder. Now you don't have to mix all three. A lot of those sound textures work really nicely just on their own, but you're welcome to mix one from each of those folders. Widescreen series packs work all together as well. That means you can pick a sound file from the low folder of the widescreen cinematic and mix it with one of the files from the mid folder from the widescreen epic. You can have a top melody coming from the widescreen horror as well. So for this tutorial, I'm going to start with the low folder. Yep, this one works. So I'm just going to drag and drop it. If we hit play, We have set up the mood instantly I mean, as I've mentioned any of those files would work beautifully in your film just on their own but let's carry on now let's move on and layer it with one of those sound files coming from the mid folder and again it could be a mid folder from the widescreen cinematic or epic or the horror packs so let's source one from the mid folder of the widescreen epic Ooh, I like that. Let's have it placed actually here and I'm going to introduce it slowly by keyframing the volume of the sound file coming from the mid folder. I'm going to keyframe it. Actually, let's lower down the volume by 4 dB and also we're going to slowly fade it in. So minus infinity level going to minus 4 dB. Let's have a listen. That is nice. So while we're in the mid folder, let's audition another file. So the full orchestra texture three is sounds fuller. So I'm going to have it introduced around here and I'll slowly fade this one in as well while the first one is fading out. So keyframe on the first one and then keyframe here from minus from minus infinity to about minus four dB over here. Okay, let's go and search a uh, phrase for the from the top folder. And what about this? Bright piano phrases sounds good. What you can do is randomly pick and choose um, from those phrases. They will all work. Bright piano single. I'm going to have each one of those tones placed at the beginning of those video clips. 
I'm just speeding up this process because the process of choosing and picking those files, it's a personal musical taste. From the technical point of view, any of those audio files from the top folder will work lay it with the files coming from the low and mid folder from any of the widescreen series packs. Okay, let's have a listen now. You can now make your custom soundtrack around your film or around your media project, which could be a podcast, for example, or game or an audiobook. So at this stage, that this is the basics and the extra feature is to dive in into the bonus folder and you can pick and choose extra sounds from the bonus folders. So for example, in the bonus folder, um, widescreen cinematic pack, you can find tonal transitions. If we just pick any of those, we can layer it and we can see it's much louder than the other sounds. So let's drop the volume by 12 dBs and let's have a listen now. So it's very subtle, but really nice. What about this one? Let's put it across different scenes underneath of all the files and let's drop the volume by a few dBs. So very subtle changes, but little details like that make all the difference. So on the very last scene, I'm going to trim the ending of the low and mid audio files and I'm going to fade them out by keyframing the volume level. So a few minutes later, you've got your own custom soundtrack. I hope you enjoyed this little instructional video for the widescreen series packs. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.